Billie Eilish and Phineas get real when discussing their music. Doja Cat and Ariana Grande are slowly becoming besties. Plus, Madison breaks up with Peter to hang out with Selena Gomez. Hey guys, it's Devante for Hollywood Life with your pop star roundup. But before we begin, go ahead and hit that sub, like, and bell button for all the latest on your favorite celebs and current events. Now, before we get into some of your favorite pop stars, we gotta talk about The Bachelor. For those of you that don't watch the show, the finale was very messy as Peter, The Bachelor, decided to end an engagement with Hannah Ann because he loves Madison. And just days after the finale, Madison announced on Instagram that they've broken up. And now she's hanging out with Selena Gomez in Target. This is actually gonna be really fun. We are stocking up I love when you get on, you on games. games. You know I'm Maddie, what game do you want? <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> honestly, anything. Everything looks great. We're gonna have a great night in. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Selena, her Rare Cosmetics beauty campaign has been postponed due to current events. In a statement, the company said they're holding off their community photo shoots and modeling auditions for the month of March. And while some people are trying to distance themselves, some are becoming closer, like Doja Cat and Ariana Grande becoming besties on an Instagram Live. Can we quarantine? Let's go. Text me. Share your location. Can we quarantine? I'm not quarantining with you unless you find me some weenus. But let's switch gears to a more serious topic, like Billie Eilish talking to the New York Times about the time Phineas refused to help her with the song, Everything I Wanted. Apparently, Billie got the idea after having a dream where she takes her own life, and after she brought the idea to Phineas, it caused a huge argument. Phineas also shared his perspective to the publication, revealing he was very worried for Billie, and he felt like an enabler in helping her write a song so bleak. He added that a lot of their music is retrospective, but this track felt like it was in real time and he couldn't support it. Billy goes on to mention how the song was finished a year later after she represented the idea, offering a new perspective to the song making process and how it helps her feel better. They also worked on the lyrics, making sure it focused more on their sibling relationship and how one another helps pull each other from their dark pursuits. And with that being said, if you are a fan of Billy and her music, I highly suggest you go read this whole piece. But in other Billy news, today she just announced that her tour will be postponed. But all right guys, once again, hit that sub, like, and bell button for all the latest, and make sure you follow me on social media at Devontae Chisholm.